a comparison between IBV4 header and IBV6 header. First, IBV4 field that have the same names as those in IBV6. We have two fields, version field and source address and destination address. The values of these fields are different in uh, both protocols. For example, version field value in IBV4 is 4 and 6 in IBV6. And in source and destination address, the biggest differences are the 32-bit addresses in IBV4 uh, has been increased to uh, 128 bits in IBV6. Next, the IBV4 fields that have been changed in IBV6. Number one, type of services, DSCP plus ECN. This field has changed to class of traffic. However, both fields in IBV4 and IBV6 use 6-bit DSCP for packet classification and 3-bits for ECN for uh, congestion control. Number 2. Total length change to payload length. IBV4 total length field includes both IBV4 header and the data and the IBV6 payload length field only specifies the number of bytes of data. Number three, time to live or TTL. This field has changed to hub limit. This field has the same function in both IBV4 and IBV6 with the name being more reflective to its actual use in IBV6. Four, protocol changed to next header. In IBV4, the protocol field indicates the protocol being carried in the IBV4 data or payload. This same function exists in the next header field in IBv6, but in IBv6 it can also indicate the existence of an extension header following the main IBv6 header. Next, the fields that are removed from IBv6. Number one, internet header length. This field is not needed in IBV6 because the main IBV6 header is fixed to 40 bytes length. The additional headers are linked as indicated in the next header field. Number two, identification, flags, and fragment offset. All these fields are used for fragmentation in, in IBV4 and they are removed from IBV6 because the fragmentation in IBV6 is handled differently. Is, it is handled using the fragment extension header. Number three, header checksum. Data link layers technologies such as Ethernet perform their own checksum. Moreover, transport layer protocols such as TCP and UDP have their own checksum. Therefore, the checksum becomes redundant and the header checksum field is removed from or removed in IBV6. Number four, options. Options in IBV4 are now handled using extension headers in IBV6. Thus, this field 
the options field is removed in IPv6. Last, we have new fields that are added and we have only one field which is flow label field. Flow label, label field is used to tag a flow of IBV6 packet packets in order to make the packets stay on the same path. There are other differences between the two protocols. Number one, fragmentation. Fragmentation means breaking packets into small pieces. The resulting pieces can pass through a link with a smaller maximum transmission unit than the original packet size. In IBV4, the source and intermediate nodes can do fragmentation, while in IBV6, the source node only can perform fragmentation. And if an intermediate node, such as a router, receives an IBV6 packet that needs to be fragmented, it will discard the packet and send an ICMBV6 packet to big error message back to the source. Number two, MTU. The maximum transmission unit, MTU, is the size of the largest protocol unit that can be transmitted transmitted in a single link. In IBV6, sorry, in IBV4, the minimum MTU that routers and physical links are required to handle is 576 bytes. While in IBV6, all links must handle a datagram size of at least 1280 bytes and the recommended size is 100 sorry 1500 bytes this improves efficiency and reducing the frequency with which the fragmentation is required number 3 udp although the udp protocol remains the same in ibv6 UDP checksum field in IBV4 is optional, while the checksum field uh, in IBV6 is mandatory. 